Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add the high score to the end screen or the game over screen. So when we die like this, now we will only see coins, points, and game over. We will add the high score to here, and when we get our points higher than the high score, it will save it over that. So it will always so show our real high score. So yeah, let's get started. First. We want to actually create that save file, so let's create first a folder, let's call it save game, for example. Let's open it, let's right click, let's create a blueprint class, let's search for a save game. Okay, let's select it. Now let's call this save game underscore endless. Okay, after that let's open it and let's add a variable when we get there now. So let's add a variable. Let's call this high score, like that. We want to change this type to integer, like that. Let's compile, save, and actually we can close this now. So now let's go to the blueprints. And let's actually first go to the GM endless runner. I want to change a few things here. So now we are calling our score points. Let's actually change that. So let's call it score. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, now let's go to the BB third person character, let's open it, like that, and let's go back to the third person map, and we want to open the, let's go to the hot folder and open the game over screen. So, now let's go to the graph, let's change the point name to core, like that. And one more thing that we want to do here, we want to change change this score variable type to integer. I will show you why. Okay. So now you should have this little error here. Try to compile. So what we have to do here, we have to delete this to text, and we want to get from this score and connect back to there. Now we will actually have to disable the use cropping again, like that. So like that. Let's compile. Now let's go to the BB third person character and here on the death function now we also have a error so let's delete this score from here okay if you cannot see the score here you want to change this to something else you can just select some random and then select the game over screen again then you should see that so yeah here on the game over ref we want to get the score and we want to actually Kate, I don't know how to pronounce that, but let's connect it to the score, like that. Let's compile, let's save. So now we have set that to there, and yeah, let's go back to the game over screen. Let's see, let's go back here. So what we want to do here now is we actually have to create a new function. Let's call it check high score if exists. I like to call the functions like what they do, so it's much easier to see, uh, find them. Okay, and here what we want to do, we want to first get from this and got, uh, check if does save game exist. And the slot name, let's call it just save, uh, save game. You want to remember this name, actually, you can copy it like that. And now we want to add a branch, so B and left click, and connect this return value to the condition, like that. And if it doesn't exist, we want to create, say, game object, like this. And the class should be the save game endless. And after that, we want to promote it to a uh, variable. Now let's change the variable name to save game ref. Okay. And after that, what we want to do, we want to get from this and we want to set the high score. What we want to set it to is the score. So if we don't have any high score before, so we are basically playing the first time, then we want to set the high score to the score that we just got. Okay. And after that, what we want to do, we want to get the same game reference again to here. And we want to save, oh, 
save game to slot. Okay, let's get to here. And the slot name, we can just copy the save game. It has to be written exactly uh, like here. Okay. And actually, now we have to create yet another function. Let's call it set high score, like that. Let's go back to the check high, uh, check high score if exists. And we want to call this set high score function after that. We will add functionality to this soon. Okay, now let's go to the true. So if the save game already exists, then what we want to do, we want to first load game from slot and you know the slot name already it's the save game and after that we want to get from the return value and we want to cast to save game endless this now we have to compile let's actually also save all and from here uh, we want to promote that to a variable but basically we want to get the same game ref and we want to set it so it's using the same uh, re variable reference as here. Okay, and the next thing, what we want to do, we want to also call the set high score function like that. So we're checking if we have the save game. If we don't, we will basically create it and we will set the high score and save it and set the high score function, uh, call the set high score function. And if we already have it, we want to load it, we want to cast to it, we want to promote it to a reference so or like, update the reference you know now let's go to the set high score okay let's compile and save again and here on this set high score what we want to do we want to first add a branch so b and left click and then what we want to do we want to get the save game ref and we want to get from here the high score and we want to actually check if the actually we have to get the score all also so let's get the score and let's check if the score is greater than the high score. Okay. So we are basically checking if we are making a new high score. If it's not, then what we want to do, we want to get the, oh, sorry. We will have to add the high score to the screen first. So let's compile, let's go to the designer. And here, what I want to do, I want to actually reorganize this a little bit. So what I like to do is uh, I'll get these coins, uh, sorry, uh, points, which I will actually rename to score and that, yeah. And what I want to do here, I want to set the position Y to zero, okay. Also on this, I want to set the position Y to zero. Okay, and actually we will have to change the points amount and points text to score amount and score text. So, score amount and points, te points text to score text, like that. So, now let's select the coins text, okay? And we want to set this position y to 50, if I remember correctly. Yes, 50. And also the coins amount, let's set the position y to 50, like that. And now what we want to do, we want to click the score and we want to actually duplicate it. And we want to set the position x to 0. And the position uh, y to minus 50, like that. Let's rename this to high score, like that, okay? Uh, let's actually make this size x to 200. Also this slot, let's make it 200. This slot, 200. So basically I changed all these slots to a little bit bigger. Okay, now we have the high score text here, but we don't yet have the high score amount. Let's actually change this uh, text slot name here. So call this high score text. Now we want to duplicate this score amount. So duplicate. Uh, let's move it to the position y minus 50, like that. And uh, position x to 10. Now it 
should align with everything else, I think. It looks like it's aligning. Let's actually check. Yeah, everything is aligning perfectly. So, uh, now what we have to do, let's change this score amount uh, name to high score amount. Okay, now let's check that it is also a, a variable like that. Now we can compile, we can save all, and we can actually go... Actually, let's change the text first to empty, like that, so it doesn't show anything. So, let's go to the graph, and here, now we can continue with this code. So here, uh, if the score is not higher than the high score, then what we want to do, we want to get the high score amount, and we want to set text, And now we want to get the high score from here and connect it to here. And now also let's open this and uh, use groping not. Okay. So like that. And what we want to do next, if we actually let's move this a little bit further down, like that. So if the score is higher than the high score, then what we want to do, we want to get the save game ref again. And we want to Set high score, uh, high score like that. Let's get from the true. Let's add a actually a reroute, and also let's actually add a reroute to here so it looks cleaner. So let's move it to here. Let's get all T's. Let's move them a little bit further here, like to here. Tease a little bit down like that. Okay. So uh, here uh, we want to set the high score. The score. We want to set the high score on the save game ref to the score amount that we now have. So it will basically update the high score. After that, we want to get the save game ref and we want to save game to slot. Like that. And we want to add a little reroute also to here. Let's actually align this. So let's select and Q. Okay. And the slot name, you know it. I can paste it. Save game like before. And after that, what we want to do is we want to actually just uh, copy this from here, control C, control V, like that. And to this text, what we want to set, we want to connect this high score to there. Now let's add rewrote to here, oh, to here, and also to here. So we're checking if the score is higher than the high score. If it's not, we will set the uh, We'll just print the high score, uh, print, sorry, uh, set the high score amount text to the, the high score amount. And if it is, then we want to set the score to the high score. So we will override basically the old uh, high score. We will save it and then we will set it like here. Okay, let's compile, let's save, let's save all, let's go to the map and let's play. Let's see what happens. So now when we die here, let's see we should get this high score. And we didn't actually get it yet. Let's see if the next time we have it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I forgot one thing. Let's go back to the game on screen. Here, let's go to the event graph. And here on the start, we actually have to call this check if high score uh, exists. Let's call this function here. Let's compile, let's go back and let's play. So, actually I will play again because there was no obstacle near. Okay, now it is. So let's see. I really like this sliding animation. Okay. And as you can see, high score 1 to 78. Let's see if we can get some better high score. So let's, for example, run to that obstacle. So we are here. Let's see, now we should get this, okay. And now if we go to the first one again, which we actually have here, let's see, it shouldn't update the high score. And yeah, as you can see, the high score is working correctly. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.